Adelaide aimed to bounce back from a 56-point loss to Hawthorne, while Phil Davis was back for the first time since walking out on the Crows to become Greater Western Sydney's first big-name signing. The Giants aimed to avoid a repeat of a record 11-goal first quarter hiding they received in the 81-point thrashing by West Coast last week. In rainy conditions, Jared Petrenko got a head knock in the first 15 seconds before leading goal kicker Kurt Tippett sent the Crows on their way. Seven goals, eight coming to the game. He squares the ledger, eight goals, eight. That's as straight as it gets. Tippett followed with another before Adelaide made it 19-0. Who's going to be first to it? Power goes to ground. Chance for McKay. Too easy for McKay. Adelaide get their third. Nice little goal assist from right. Israel Folau got into the heavy lifting for the Giants. Petrenko was out of the game midway through the term, while Jason Porplesia swung the Crows four goals ahead. Martin Porplesia is a goal kicker. He's a gem. That's be beautiful stuff. Seven behinds in his career, Kirtley Hampton wobbled through his first ever major before Paul Pleasia made it 34-7 at the first change. Paul Pleasia, can he get two and a quarter? Hooks it back. Oh, yes, indeed. Taylor Walker's woes in front of goal continued. Matthew Wright kicked the Crows' sixth goal a minute later before a memorable moment for the face of GWS. This for his first goal in AFL football from outside 50. Hits it long, hits it straight. Izzy's on the board. Well, that's something that uh, fans of the Giants have been waiting for. Is Ralph allowed to kick a goal? The milestones for the new chums continued. Falls for Edwards. No one in front of him. Straightens up. Gets the 40 metres. Sean Edwards, his first goal in AFL football. Then the Giants' leading goal kicker, Jonathan Giles, joined the scoring spree. Handball over the top. Corn just got one on. Further afield, the big man, Giles. Two to right of the Giants. Three goal game. A shimmy and a shake. Ricky Henderson's rock and roll made him a big hit to end the Giants' three goal streak. Kicks towards Tippett in the square. Tippett ducks and says, Yours, goal Henderson. Hampton's seven misses. Nothing but a memory as he curled in a beauty. And then he kicks an absolute belter. Just before the long break, export stall with Chad Corns renewed Adelaide rivalries. If you looked like that, you wouldn't put one on either. <laughs> At half time, Adelaide 7 8 50, Greater Western Sydney 5 3 33. Chad Corns gets a new jumper. The first one he's had torn off his back, it won't be the last. Brody Martin and Matthew Yench clattered into each other and both needed running repairs to resume. Midway through the term, Tippett was in position A. Will he make it his third for the evening? It's drifting, but it's holding and it's through. Three goals to Tippett and some breathing space for the Crows. A couple of minutes later, the leading goal kicker fired home another. Drills it low, four goals to Tippett. He's the match winner tonight. Hampton then showcased the skills in his game. Then he's kicked two. That's a tough one. Oh, he's got some skill, has Kirtley. He's got three. He's a highlight reel. Walker sent the Crows to a 31-point lead at three-quarter time. 35 metres out. Celebrates as soon as he kicks it. Gets the Crows a five-goal lead. Rory Sloan then produced a great advertisement for commitment providing the groundwork and following through with the polish. Sloan kept going, Sloan off the left boot. Rory, that's an absolute terrific goal. Take a bow, my man. Scott Thompson put the finishing touches to a convincing victory. I reckon he'll kick it. And he hasn't let me down. Full time, Adelaide 13-18-96, Greater Western Sydney 7-8-50. We really dropped away and didn't give them the credit they deserve, uh, our contested ball was average and we didn't crack in like we should have been. We really dropped off, which was disappointing. And um, It was good that second half we cracked back in and, and got it back to the level that we wanted. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport. Sport.